buy property in order to make money. It's as simple as that. I think the expression let it and forget it springs to mind. One of my favourite sayings about property investing is that uh, it would be such a perfect business if it wasn't for tenants. I've got sort of 19 properties at the moment, so there's something like, say, 60 tenants in total. Mr. Landlord, listen to me. Posing on the corner just as happy as you can be. Please. 24 years, I live here with my wife, Kelly, and my two children. Please. We get all the black stuff on the walls and the damp coming through. And there you can see rising damp by that. All down the side of this wall. Basically, we see what we've had to clean up this morning. I think it'd be really interesting to take the viewpoint of being a tenant and immerse yourself into that environment. From muck-suckers... Some people dream of being professional footballers, but we dreamed of being <laughs> suckers when we were in school. To treasure hunters. I only was called a rampant love it. <laughs> and the ladies holding down the dirtiest jobs in the business. This is the surprising world of waste you never knew existed. 67-year-old Graham helped create one of the first recycled rubbish charity shops, which runs alongside the Leamington Spa Tip. Look at the amount of stuff that's being flown away. The people coming up here are like lemons. They're throwing stuff over the wall all the time. Hello there. Have you got anything that can be used down by the charity in the reuse shop? <laughs> I really love this job. Two quid for the lot. Thank you very much. And I want to do my bit to help. We want to get the treasure out and make as much money on it as we can. The interceptors have to move quickly but without alerting the suspect. If he's carrying any drugs, he'll get rid of them before the team can get to him. Welcome to the glamorous side of being an interceptor. The subject that we've um, detained, one of them, um, we've brought him here, we've done the search on them, and found concealed on his person quite an intimate place, um, a quantity of heroin. So all the lads are going to do now is, is arrest him for possession of, um, of heroin and take him down to the police station. Alvin Almonte was waiting for a What's bus when a gang attacked him with rocks and knives. Okay. What's hurting you? Oh boy. All right, so there are extremely large lacerations. It's about five centimeters, six, probably eight on the back with arterial bleeding. Listen, your cuts on your head, this big, okay? So let us do what we need to do. There is a skull fracture, and that's this area right here where you can see the break in the bone over here. He's definitely going to get admitted to the intensive care unit, but he's doing very well. So it's kind of one of those neat cases that we actually get to turn around very quickly, just thanks to the fact that we work in a trauma center. It's what makes my job fun. A, A, A. Yeah. Access all areas. Hello, it's Nick Grimshaw here from The Breakfast Show here on Radio 1. And I'm going to find out what it is actually like to be a team assistant at Radio 1. So what do you do? What I've done straight after your show is report the music that we played. Okay. So even like a sound effect, like get, someone gets credit? Yep, so yeah, because someone will have made it. So no, wherever it's come from, people need to get credited for that. It makes me a black coffee because I can't converse before having loads of them. So I'm going to do the same for Scott Mills and his team. I actually don't know how much of this stuff to put in. Two, three. Follow us on this thrilling adventure. Oh, I didn't put any sugar in. I have your teas. Yeah. Actually, we're not allowed to have drinks in here, so if you can leave them outside. Oh, yeah. Okay. See you later. There you go. Thanks for helping me me today. That's all, that's all right. Did you enjoy it? Right. I actually really did enjoy it. It's really it. fun, isn't yeah, it? Like, like things to do. <laughs> Our only <laughs> presenter's just like, okay. Not that I can say on air. No. <laughs> Scott Mills. Yeah. <laughs>
however route you take, the most important thing is being absolutely determined and prepared to work very hard, possibly for not quite not an enormous amount of money to start with. Working as a costume designer, which I've been doing for quite a long time now, is a really fab job. I wouldn't do another. It is very, very hard work, but really worth it when you're first fitting with somebody, when you've had something made, something lovely, and it looks perfect. It's really exciting.